Hi, boys and girls. I really hope you enjoyed that book. So let's go ahead and get started so that we can make some line monster friends for our new friend, Rainbow Zigzag. So what you're going to need today is a white piece of paper and you can either use crayons or oil pastels. I prefer for this project to use oil pastels, so that's what I'm going to use. But if you have crayons, they're going to work just as great. The difference between the two is that crayons are made out of wax and oil pastels are made out of oil. That's the only difference. So choose a color, any color you want. I'm gonna start with blue. And together we're going to make lines on our paper, very special lines. At the very top of our paper, we're going to start with a zigzag line. So here we go, very top of our paper, we're going to go zigzag, 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 all the way until we touch the other end of our paper like that. Good job. Make sure that if you are using crayons that you're pressing really, really hard. It's okay if by accident your crayon breaks in half. Sometimes that happens. This just means you're very strong. Press very, very hard so those colors are bold and bright. Okay, great job on your zigzag. Let's go down just below and now we're going to make a, um, a dashed line. Here we go, a dashed line. So a line and we're gonna skip a space and a line, and we're gonna skip a space. This is called a dashed line. Try to stay nice and straight, pressing really hard so that those colors are nice and bold. Great job, choose another color. Now you're going to go ahead and we're gonna make a looped line. A loop line, this is one of my, my favorites to make. Loop, loop, loop. This might be a new line for some of you. You may have never made a loop line before. So it could be a little challenging, but don't worry. You can even ask a family member at home to create the loop line for you in pencil, and then you can trace over it. You can do that for all the lines, really. Hmm, what else should we make? How about a wavy line? Grab a new color. Wavy line, wavy line, just like the waves of the ocean. Wavy line, good job. Now we're leaving some space in between our lines. We should have some more space on the bottom to continue. How about we make a dotted line now? Did I use purple already? I did, how about green? Dot, 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 all the way to the other side of our paper. This is us exploring line, great job. Great job, all right. We have another oil pastel. Going to make another line down here. Zigzag, zigzag. Whoops. There we go. I'm using my strength. My oil pastel broke. Zigzag, zigzag, all the way to the other end of the paper. Good. Now, if you happen to have a lot of space left on the bottom, just go ahead and repeat some of your lines using different colors. All right, so make sure that each line is a different color. You either use crayons or oil pastels and you press very, very hard. Great job. There's one more step to part one of today's project. Here we go. For this part of the project, we're going to need a water bucket, a paintbrush, and some paints. You can use watercolor paints or tempera cakes are the best. Because we pressed so hard with our oil pastel or crayons, now when we paint over our crayon, we're still going to see the crayon come through. It's going to be visible. It's like magic. So get that brush really wet. Choose a color. I'm gonna start with red. I'm actually gonna do the order of the rainbow. So the first color of the rainbow is red. When you paint, you guys, you wanna make sure that you're not holding your brush all the way up top because you wanna have good control of your brush. So make sure you're holding your brush in the middle, close to the bottom. And across the top with red, because I'm choosing red, but you don't have to choose red. You're going to go um, all the way across with your brush. We're going in a horizontal line. We're going sideways, left to right. This is a horizontal way. Now, if your brush tends to get dry, which mine is doing, just add it to the water. Now your brush is nice and wet. Grab some more paint and continue. Good. So we painted over our first line. Isn't it awesome that you can still see your crayon or oil pastel line through here? It's like magic how it comes through. The next color of the rainbow is orange. So I'm gonna use orange. 
cleaned my brush, got a new color. Again, horizontal, left to right, back and forth. Nice job. My oil pastel is popping through. Do you guys know the next color of the rainbow? Hmm, is it blue? No, how about yellow? Yellow, yellow is my daughter Stella's favorite color. Yellow back and forth. I'm not going up and down. I'm going back and forth. Good job. Nice job, you guys. Take a break if you need to, but I want you to continue your paint all the way to the bottom of your paper. All right, you guys, so here is my finished artwork for today for part one. I'm sure yours looks very, very similar to this one. So we're gonna put it aside so it can dry. Do not move forward to make your monster because next week in part two, that's when we're going to create our monster. So let this dry, be patient, and I can't wait to see you guys next week so we can make Rainbow Zigzag a new friend. Bye.